good morning or good afternoon or good evening or whatever time of day it happens to be where you are now. Anyway, welcome to Pembroke Church of God. I'm glad you've chose to join us by watching this video. I would like to start, uh, I would actually like to do some normal things that we would do on a Sunday morning. I've prepared them, so I'd love to share them, and I'm glad you've chosen to, uh, to watch them. Uh, the first is an announcement. There's only one announcement I'll make now, and that is for a personal announcement from me to all of you, and that is simply this. We are a family. Several days ago, I met with my own family to remind them that we are several households, and if one household is aware uh, or is in need, um, uh, perhaps another household uh, has supply, and we should be uh, in communication and be aware of each other's needs so that we can fill them. And uh, we also should stay in communication so we can pray for each other. This is a function of the church, and I believe that we are a family, and we have many, many households, and we should be in communication with each other, and we should also be aware of each other's needs. Our youth are particularly good at staying in touch with one another. Often they are texting or messaging each other, and they are no more than six feet away, um, one from the other. It's kind of crazy, but either way, whether it's six feet or six miles, they stay in touch. And I would encourage all of you to do the same. Um, I have a Bible verse to share with you. This is Acts 4.32. I'm putting it up there so that you can remember it and look it up. Interesting context then. It was the early church, and they made sure that they took care of each other. And uh, they watched out for each other. They prayed for one another. And they made sure that everybody's needs were met. That's my announcement to you. Now we're going to move on to our invocation. Our invocation is Psalm 121, 1-4. I lift my eyes to the mountains. Where does my help come from? My help comes from the Lord, the maker of heaven and earth. He will not let your foot slip. He who watches over you will not slumber. Indeed, he who watches over Israel will neither slumber nor sleep. Let us pray. Dear God, you are great and mighty. We praise you and are thankful today that you watch over us as you watched over Israel. May your ever-present and watchful spirit move among us. May you be glorified by our worship through your spirit. It is in the matchless name of Jesus that we pray. Amen. So again, I'd like to encourage you to stay in touch with one another. Um, our offering uh, quote this morning um, is, Pray and let God worry. That is Martin Luther. Uh, it's one of my favorites. We've used that at church before, um, but I thought it was pretty uh, appropriate considering that there is plenty to be worried about. But I want to encourage you to con continue. Um, the aspects of worship that we do together on Sundays are also done by us on a day-to-day -day basis. Things like praying um, and things like uh, giving to our friends and family that have need, um, but also giving tithes and offerings to the Lord. Um, now, we're not gathered together in a church building today, but I want to encourage you to continue to give your tithe and offering, whether it be through PayPal on our website or stopping by the church and slipping your tithe through the mailbox or through the mail slot in the office door. I want to encourage you to continue to do that. Also, singing. Um, um, some of us are better singers than others. I actually don't even count myself as a great singer, um, especially if you hear me singing along to my favorite worship song in the car. It's probably more like bellering, but either way, it is worship when we're singing unto the Lord. When we do our work, if you're stuck at home, there's plenty of housework to do. Every little deed we do, if we do it as, to, as unto the Lord, that is worship. So these are all ways I want to encourage you to continue to worship as a family. Um, and uh, as we move along, perhaps um, the, uh, the staff here at Pembroke and also some volunteers uh, can provide some, uh, some, some more content um, that will help us with worshiping together. I would like to share with you um, the doxology. And the reason is, um, now that we are not able to worship together, there's a few things I have to admit I've taken for granted. One of those things is in our first service, um, the singing of the doxology. Um, I, that, I've done this since I've been a child, um, and I miss it when I cannot do it. It's a powerful thing, a song to sing, and I'm going to read it for you now. Praise God from whom all blessings flow. Praise God, all creatures here below. Praise him above all, above ye heavenly hosts. Praise Father, Son, and Holy Ghost. And here's the second part that most people are not aware of. Praise God the Father, 
who is the source. Praise God the Son, who is the course. Praise God the Spirit, who is the flow. Praise God our portion here below. Let us pray. All things are in your capable hands, Lord. I pray that our trust in you grows and that we find peace and comfort in your Son, Jesus. Lord, it's our desire that other people would know you and come to trust you. Let your will be done with this offering, with our offering, in this community, in our families, and where we live. It is a great honor to be a part of your will, Lord, and it's in Jesus' name that we pray. Amen. It's been a pleasure to reach out to you with this video. I look forward to posting more and uh, seeing all of you uh, from time to time, either by FaceTime or just hearing from you by phone or text. May God bless and keep you. Thank you.